What's going on everybody? Shane here and I've got something kind of cool to show you. Something you guys said in the comments of another video that you wanted whenever it happened. So here we are. You may remember my good old friend the LG V30 which I still have kicking around kicking around in the old box of extra phones and I've got my Pixel 3 non-XL because no notch, no notch for me. So a little bit of news, we've been waiting on the night sight port from the Pixel 3 to make its way over to other phones. If that was going to happen, it has happened. I have downloaded it onto the LG V30. I have taken a couple of pictures with the lights out to give you a comparison. Is it better? Is it good? Is it as good as the Pixel? So forth and so on. So I've only got a handful of pictures to show you, like literally like four pictures to show you because a couple of reasons. One, the wide angle version of this app, which I downloaded, kept just crashing my phone, making it reboot completely. It would not work for me. I haven't dug into why, um, what's going on, whatever. The regular one worked fine, but it is approximately four o'clock where I'm at. It's not dark. I turned off the lights in this room and took some pictures in here. Um, that's gonna have to suffice for now. I don't think that the results are mind blowing enough to make me wanna go out and, and do something crazy. If you guys wanna see it, I guess throw in enough comments and I'll see what I can do. But for now, this is kind of what you're gonna get. So let's look at some pictures. So what I've got for you first here is a picture taken with the LG V30's stock camera. Nothing special, just the stock camera. So, I mean, there's not a lot really to break down here, but I mean, it's not a very pleasing album, album, picture. It's pretty grainy. You're losing a lot of detail down here. Um, you're, you, yeah, it's dark. You can't really see much. So this is LG's version of their night vision type thing. So, I mean, comparatively between the two, I'd say it's a, it's a better image. You're getting some more detail of the, the various clutter in this room. Um, it's better. It's not great still, but it, it's, it is better. And just to round things out on the stock camera front, this is LG's wide angle camera. Stock, nothing crazy, no, no night vision available there. And again, I mean, it's all right. It's nothing, nothing that blows my mind. It's very dark. You have no detail up here, none down here. It, it's a dark picture. So, here is the Google camera on the LG, and you can see because of that right there. This is the best image of the three. Okay, no, no complaints there. You, you, you'll get, you'll get no arguments from me. And in fact, if you do something like this. Granted, I did a really like crap job of lining up my pictures. I took like I tried to take pictures for like 15 minutes and just, it kept crashing. So excuse me, these two pictures are not exactly the same. They're actually quite different. But whatever. This could be a metering difference. It could be something. I think it's more to do with the night sight aspect. But you can see what the picture is on my wallpaper here, and on none of the other ones you can't. So this is this is Google's night vision. This is LG's night vision. The, the colors are more accurate on Google's. Um, this is better. You've got better clarity overall. I mean, it is it is definitely the best picture of the LG ones. Now, let's compare that though to what Google's doing. So this is the Pixel 3's image. Okay, so I would say definitely, you, you've got a pretty, pretty clear image here. Strangely enough, not as clear as on LG's. Again, this could be a metering thing because, well, they're actually pretty close together. So maybe not. I'm not sure what's going on there. But it's brighter. It's the brightest picture. It's the brightest picture, and the colors are probably the most accurate, I would say. Pretty close to being. I don't know what you think is a better picture. I actually think that... In this instance, the LG picture might be a little bit softer. This one seems very sharp, very sharp. Let's let's punch into something like this chair and compare here real quick. I mean, it's, I think that, I mean, they're very comparable, aren't they? They're very, very comparable. This port is actually fairly impressive. Pixel 3 is still clearly the brightest image, but 
there's some graininess that isn't there on the LG V30, and that might be the higher, uh, I'm sorry, the 1.6 versus the 1.8 aperture. That might be that, might be the bigger megapixel. I think the V30 is a higher megapixel camera. Um, let's see here, am, am, I, am I right on, I, I am right, it's a 16 megapixel instead of a 12. That could be having some effect here. Interesting preliminary results, no question. Very interesting. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you want more samples, I'll see what I can do. But until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.